guys, it's Joel and welcome to um, a random video. It's like it was all sort of a vlog this one and uh, it's a bit weird because uh, today I was going to go for coffee with my dad as we often do um, uh, to a place in West Sussex called Midhurst uh, except he suggested that we take both cars which I thought was a bit odd uh, because you know why would you take a Z4 and a Suzuki Swift but then he pulled up in a BMW Z4 yeah he has done the ultimate dad thing and bought the same car as his son. How does it feel copying your son? <laughs> well, if you remember, uh, I was the first one to have a soft top in this family. You don't have to drive them though, do you? <laughs> oh, well, hey guys, it's Joel, and uh, welcome back to, well, it's home from home, it's a Z4, except uh, my dad, this is my dad, say hi to you. Hi. No one cares. He's decided to copy his son, do the ultimate dad joke. <laughs> by, by a Z4 as well. Um, except as we've just seen, he doesn't quite know how to drive. Well, I don't when did you get your license? Is it last week? At, at least 30 something years ago. <laughs> <laughs> So then, all uh, joking aside, I guess you've bought a Z4, um, and he's bought a 2.5, yeah. because he hasn't quite got as many minerals as I do. <laughs> um, no, he's bought a 2.5, which actually I'm loving because it's such a soft ride, and yeah. um, Dad actually found out through his research that my 3 litre, as factory standard, has got sport suspension and is lowered. That's it, yeah. So, the ride is a lot stiffer, which is actually now I'm quite jealous of I this. I think it's 15 mil. Uh, 15 mil. Oh, you don't hang about, do you, Dan? Um, yeah, 15 millimetres lower. Uh, but yeah, I guess why have you bought the Z4 apart from just because you want to ruin my street cred? Well, that was the main reason, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying it. I mean, I, I feel it's having parents' job to embarrass their children as much as possible. But you failed there because you bought a crappier version of something. Well, I guess so, but then that maybe is embarrassing for you, I don't know. Um, no, I mean, in all seriousness, um, I did have an MX-5 until Joel decided that this engine had come to the end of its life while he was driving on this bit of road, actually. I'm sure we've discussed that. <laughs> Yes. And I mean the fact that it's still a soft top, but actually it's insulated and yeah, feel, it's it's, it doesn't feel like it's a convertible. No, it's, not the real it's a lot quieter, isn't it, than the um, than the. Although sadly for you, since you've had this, you've had this what a few days now, and you've yeah. not really had any sun. No, to, uh, not a massive amount, no. Yeah, I have 
say as well, I, I did drive this car and just before you decided you wanted to buy it. And, you did, um, yeah. It, it, to me, I couldn't really notice the difference. Up to legal speed limits. Certainly in first and second. Yeah. yeah, first and second in force. It was um, just as well. More or less, I'd say, yeah. So, yeah, overall, I'm, I'm really chuffed with this one. I mean, it's a low mileage. It's only done just over 56,000 miles. And you've got heated seats. Got heated seats, which you haven't got. But no cup holders still. But no cup holders. That is the... Uh... In fact, it was really funny. I got in a car, a mate of mine, we played tennis the other morning, and he got in the car with a coffee for me, which was very kind of him. <laughs> And, uh, Little said, did he know that no. he was going to be your cup holder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he was the <laughs> cup holder. Um, and um, well, I guess there's a top tip, guys, for any Z4 owners who haven't got the cup holder option. Yes, you should employ someone else. Absolutely. To sit in the passenger seat at all times. Absolutely. They to can be, just do that drop to for be you. your cup holder. Exactly. So yeah, I think had you not bought a Z4, you probably wouldn't have. It probably really wouldn't have I crossed your mind. I wouldn't have even considered it. I just would have assumed that it was. Well, firstly, a, I think a, I think you would have firstly assumed too much money. Yeah, would have assumed it was too expensive. Would have probably assumed it was too expensive to service and. You and know, the hilarious parts. thing is when you're when you're talking about Mark III MX5s. Yeah. There's actually, when you talk mileage and, and age, there's not that much difference between these. No, I probably I wouldn't mean, be... Z4s are going to be a few years older. Yeah, I was going to say. When you yeah. come to mileage, this yeah. is sub, you know, almost 50,000 miles. Yeah, so yeah. You're not going to get a, yeah, yeah. There's not many 2,000, 7,000, 8 miles with less yeah. than that. So. And it just feels, I think the other thing is that b miles. I guess you'd expect it's a more premium brand. It does, yeah. it does feel tangibly better built. You can just you can just feel it. I mean, the fact when you're that, driving it, it feels yeah, a lot more. Yeah, I mean, the, together. I still cannot quite believe that this is a 14-year-old car. Yeah, I would defy anyone to get in this car who didn't know about cars, and you know, would, you know, would know what age this was. If Maybe they, the the old BMW display would be yeah, a, yeah. a giveaway. But, but yeah, if, from the if they had a blindfold on. Yeah. Well, as I say, if someone who doesn't really know about cars and wasn't really aware that and about, just knew the badge, I just probably assume this is a newer car. I would assume this was a newer car because it just seems to be well screwed together, well put together. I mean, without getting into it too much, I, th I think the look of this car is quite timeless as well. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, the new one doesn't look that much different, does it, actually? Well, uh, that's got... debatable, but I wouldn't say it looks much more contemporary. It's a simple well, it's... And that's, I think that, again, is what I love about it, is that I've got, I feel I've got the best of both worlds. I've got a car that is great fun, you know, it's got a bit of speed, it's great fun with the roof down. There's nothing better than driving around with the roof down in the sun. Or about that... marrying your wife or Well, yeah, that, that was pretty cool. Yeah, and having children, not bad. But obviously, not driving a Z4, oh. the roof down is probably tops all of that. <laughs> no. So, yeah, I mean, I think what's not to like about this car, I mean, I was a little bit, you know, I guess BMW drivers have got a certain reputation, but then I've never really been bothered about what people think about what I drive in terms of the badge or the label. I mean, I've had a Toyota, I've had a Renault, I've had a Suzuki, um, I've had a um, Skoda, still got a Skoda. So I tend to I tend to buy cars on the strength of the engine. And that is Yeah, and these are bulletproof engines. Yeah, and that's, these well, strengths. yeah, that's probably- I mean, we oh, are, yeah, go on. bear in mind we're, we're two, um, Z4 owner sitting in a Z4, so it's yeah. going to be quite. Yeah, yeah, probably a bit biased. And you've just bought this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, there are, there are there are problems with this with this car, but I think for the price bracket, I've done it. I've done it in a video. It's the reason I bought one. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think there's much. If you're looking for a, so it's two seats a car. But if you're yeah. looking for something fast but also practical, for sort of around the five grand or under five grand range. Yeah, absolutely. You get a pretty good Z4 for that money. Exactly. I mean, bearing in mind how much it cost when it was new. But I think, you know, yeah, going back to plus, what, yeah. yeah, going back to what I said, I think basically, I'm, you know, ultimately what I love about this car the most is the engine. Yeah. You know, that, that sound of the, the straight six is just, just a beautiful sound, actually. I, I really love it. Mm. Which you'll never get that from a four cylinder. That, again, right, cool. So before we all get too bored, yeah, let's... Yeah. Uh, <laughs>
So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed listening to my dad drone on about uh, a Z4, something that I normally do, but he's done it instead this Absolutely. time for about 20 minutes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully next time I speak to you, this car will be in the sea. <laughs> That's nice, mate. Thank you. <laughs> See you next week.